We get asked frequently, why is it when someone calls for an ambulance that a fire truck also arrives? And the answer is simple. All of our firefighters are trained as EMTs, and many of them are trained as paramedics. We have twice as many fire trucks in our system as we do ambulances. So we send a fire truck to get trained EMTs and paramedics to the scene of the medical emergency as quickly as possible. When an engine shows up, it may be closer than the ambulance. It has the same personnel, the same staff, the same expertise, and in fact, the exact same equipment. Um, all of our engines carry the same advanced life support equipment that our ambulances do, uh, including the same monitors, the same drugs, the same medical equipment, the same oxygen. And so you can rest assured, while the engine may not take you to the hospital immediately, you're getting exactly the same service that you would if an ambulance showed up. So when we come in there, we can do everything that that ambulance can do. We have every drug, we have every monitor, we have all the IV solutions, we have all the advanced airways that we need to provide everything that that ambulance is gonna do, but right now. And then when that ambulance gets there, you're dressed up, packaged up, put a bow on you and send you down the road to the hospital. The neat thing about this all hazards agency that we are, is that if you have a fire at your house, this engine goes and that ambulance goes and you get five firefighters. If you have a heart attack, this engine and that ambulance goes and you have five EMTs there to take care of you. It's good stewardship of the county's funds. We take care of, of all of these emergencies. We're an all hazards agency and respond to all of them. We do it very, very well. And in fact, our cardiac arrest survival statistics are three times better here in Henrico County than the national average. We're very proud of the statistic that over the past two fiscal years, with the fire-based response system that we have, we've had 64 people who had gone into cardiac arrest and had technically passed away, but were resuscitated by Henrico firefighters and actually left the hospital under their own steam to return to their lives with no, with no deficits. You lose 10% of your ability to survive every minute that goes by that you're in a cardiac arrest without CPR. So the quicker we can get there and begin CPR on that patient, the better chance they have at survival. We're here, we'll take you where you need to go free of charge, and we're gonna take fantastic care of you along the way. And I think, uh, I, I love that model.